Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will start a new and a very interesting topic that is coordination chemistry and what are transition metals. Let's start this topic. We all know that human beings like other vertebrates have red blood in their body. Red color of the blood is due to an iron containing protein called hemoglobin. We also know the function of hemoglobin that first it binds oxygen through its oxygen binding capacity and then transport it to the lungs and all other parts of the body. This is the function of hemoglobin. We are not concerned about the function. We are concerned about the red color. That where does this red color comes from? The red color of the blood is due to the iron which is basically a transition metal. Now uh, let's talk about other animals. Some marine animals like octopus, squids, and lobsters have blue blood. They have not the red color. The color of their blood is blue. This blue color of the blood is due to copper containing protein called hemocyanin. So red and blue color are due to different metals, due to different transition metals. This hemocyanin contains two copper positive ions in the deoxygenated form. When oxygen molecules came and then it encounters oxygen environment. Electron transfer reaction take place and the oxygen molecule is reduced to peroxide ion in the form of O2 to negative. And both the coppers that are present in the hemocyanin, they are oxidized to copper 2 positive form. Presence of copper 2 positive ions in oxygenated hemocyanin is responsible for blue color of the blood. So this red color is due to iron and blue color is due to the copper. Both these different metals give different colors and both are transition metals. Iron is also the transition and copper is also the transition. See its chemistry. This is the hemocyanin molecule in which uh, copper first here is present only in the copper positive form and it is O2 molecule that is not bound here. When it bound to this molecule this copper will form a bond with this oxygen also and this oxygen like this. It will form a coordinate bond and this bond becomes single bond now. This is the structure now. Oxygen, now one oxygen can form three bond, two coordinate and one covalent bond with the other oxygen. This molecule now has uh, carry oxygen and transport to other parts of the body. So, we can say that different transition metals give different colors to our blood. How these give color, we will see it later. Now, what is the importance of transition metal? The importance is not limited to biology and medicine that we have seen that uh, it carry uh, blood and oxygen carrying capacity is the biological function. Transition metals and their alloys are used as structural materials to make coins and jewelry. These metals are used as electronic conductors in wires and electronic devices also. The presence of partially filled D orbitals allow transition metal compound to act as a catalyst, magnets and pigments also. There are many other applications, many other importance of these metals. Here we have some, dis discussed some. Now what is coordination compounds and what is coordination chemistry? Metal ions, specifically the transition metal ions, when surrounded by molecules and ions of the type Ag, NH32, overall twice, bracket plus and hemoglobin are called coordination compounds. We have discussed hemoglobin later. It has a complex structure like hemocyanin. All these compounds are coordination compounds. We can say complex, these are very complex compounds. And the branch of chemistry that focus on them is called the coordination chemistry. In coordination chemistry, we see transition metals. Transition metals are present in three series that we have 3D series, 4D series and 5D series present in the periodic table. Now, what are transition metals? The word transition means in between, intermediate. Those elements that are present in between the S and P block elements are called the transition metals. So definition is present in between S and P block elements. These are three series in which transition metal are present. 
These three they are grouped three to twelve in periods four, five, and six. The three B series is the most important and most we deal with it. But being a chemist, you should know all these elements and should be on your fingertips. The three D starts from scandium atomic number twenty one to zinc atomic number thirty. They have partially filled uh, electrons in their d orbital. With some exceptions, for example, platinum and gold, these metallic elements are found in the nature as solid inorganic compounds called minerals. What is mean this that these all elements are present in the form of minerals naturally. Minerals are identified by common names rather than their chemical names. For example, we have a metal mercury. Its mineral is cinnabar, and its mineral composition is AgS. iron its mineral we call as hematite and magnetite hematite is fe2o3 and magnetite is fe3o4 both of these are iron oxides chromium we call chromite and is fecr2o4 similarly titanium is known as rutile and it uh, is known as tio2 not this one sorry it is tio2 so it it is the introductory lecture about the coordination chemistry inshallah in our next lecture we will explain it detail and uh, its electronic configuration we will discuss uh, and all about transition metals its exceptions uh, basically so thank you if you like this lecture kindly subscribe my channel thank you allah hafiz